YouTube was good as books. They lifted. I got a rim protector build for y'all today. And just do me a favor real quick. Just hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. But this rim protector is not the Hall of Fame defensive pie chart. So just want to. It's not the pure Hall of Fame defensive pie chart. I should say that. But you're going to go power forward. And I, I just thought this would be kind of kind of an interesting build because you, you're going to have Hall of Fame playmaking right? it, it's not the pure defense so you're going to go Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame defense and for your physicals you don't have to go with the pure strength fight chart you can go with the bottom one for the balanced physicals and for your close shots you're going to put that at 63 Max your driving layup, your driving dunk, and your standing dunk. And you can't if you put close shot like like this this is just the way I made this build. You feel me? Like you could put close shot on and get get more uh finishing badges. But this this just the way the way I made I made the build because you gonna change your name if you uh put close shot up. So you're gonna max out your free throw, max out your post fade. You're gonna have five shooting badges. So you gonna you're gonna be able to, to to hit the post fades and everything, like if you if you get it down there. And seventy five on a pass accuracy, max out your ball handle, so you're gonna have twelve playmaking. So your your primary role is gonna be to defend in the paint, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna pretty much always be in the paint. That's why we not we not really putting um, three pointer at all. We not putting on the midi because you pretty much gotta change too much about the build to uh to put on the midi. But you need to stand and dunk because you won't be in the paint. So that's pretty much why I made a build like that and didn't put the close shot up. You feel me? So uh, seven, five, and twelve. Then for your defense, max interior perimeter. You gonna max everything except for offensive rebound. So max interior perimeter, throw, steal, block, and defensive rebound. Offensive rebound. Put that at sixty-one. And you can take two points from that, but you can't get another badge nowhere else. So I really just don't see a point. Uh, let's see where we could throw it. You might as well just throw it on offensive rebound. And yeah, yeah, I think that's what I did anyway. But you got seven, five, twelve, and nineteen. So for a rim protector build, you you definitely gonna be able to do more than a regular rim protector, like. They would, depending on how they how they made the build, they might have more finishing badges if they made it like uh, a different way. Like the the close shot on uh, on the Hall of Fame defense pie chart wouldn't be up neither. So you um, it don't matter. Your body shape don't matter. You want to go six nine, two sixty three actually. So you get an 81 strength, 67 speed, and wingspan. Max that out. Uh, how did I do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Max your wingspan out. So you you get in the um you got you got a good amount of finishing badges. You get big man contact dunks. And you get to choose from glass, glass takeover, and rim rim takeover. So you a rim protector, you gotta go with the rim protector takeover. Like you can't can't go with the glass clean takeover. And your offensive rebound not even that high. That's why you got the rim protector name. So um, we gonna get into the badges because it's definitely interesting having. Hall of Fame playmaking on a rim protector build. So, 
so for your finishing, go contact. You're not gonna be slaying no giants. You could throw on put back boss or uh, relentless finisher. They they pretty they pretty much both kind of well run protect. I mean relentless will help you do almost but uh, put back boss to help you do but relentless work in more situations and it's it's really better than put back boss so you feel me you don't need that but I throw on consistent go slithery and good like that or bronze relentless we good like that for your shooting badges you definitely gonna wanna throw on deep fades. You can throw on uh, silver high zone hunter. Is if you actually hitting them fades down there, you gonna you gonna have high zones down there. You feel me? And if you hitting them from the corner, like near the corner, you definitely definitely gonna get a boost of corner specialist. But corner specialist boost is better on gold, so you can go go corner special just if you want to be over there you feel me but really up to you though you get the flexible release too if you uh if you feeling like that that definitely work on silver and for your playmaking badges so you do have high ball control so it's not like you just got 12 playmaking badges on a big man like for no reason like you <laughs> you got handled you feel me you can throw on all the fame handles for days um when them playmaking badges start hitting throw on tight handles and space creator but for now we're gonna rock with the needle threader we're gonna rock with the um, pluckable you don't have to throw on dimer but if you want to get dimer you can throw on dimer it's standing dunk crazy high. You do got the uh, big man contact dunks. So, you could throw on post spin technician on like gold. Feel me? That, that do work. I have seen that working. So, I ain't gonna hold you. Defense. You a rim protector. Gotta go Hall of Fame on that. You gonna go at least go rebound chaser. Again, you don't have offensive rebounds. But. You, you just don't need that on Hall of Fame, no way. And to help you protect the rim, again, you're going to go Pogo. Get the on gold clamps. Um, I mean, not gold clamps, silver clamps. Oh, I'm tripping, tripping. You're going to want to throw the chase down on at least silver, really, but you go go pogo you don't gotta keep go but you could you could really take off moving truck like you just don't really need that like it's not it's not that good but i probably go intimidator not hitting you probably go pogo and you wave it right there you could throw on your worm or your box but I just I just don't use them badges because I get in the in, in the right position. You know what I'm saying to, to get the board like with speed and everything. But that's your rim protector. That, I just I just figure that's that's an interesting way to make it. But I'm books they lifted. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.